An impressive season for Ross County, but Kilmarnock with a top six finish to play for. And it would be smash and grab from the away side. James Fowler's strike inside the first two minutes, just what Kilmarnock were after. A crafty duck, Rory McKenzie with the setup and a great strike. Operation top six off to a flyer. Talking off flyers, Ian Viger's free kick wasn't far away. And Ross County created chance after chance. The knockdown from Sam Morrow and Richie Britton almost made it count. Britton and Viger's a constant source of creativity and threat for Ross County. The pair were combining to great effect when Britton burst into the box again. Mark O'Hara put body on the line to come to Kilmarnock's rescue. The Ross County dominance was striking. The striking, though, just a bit off. When Sam Morrow muscled through, the post kept Kilmarnock in front. And Ross Barber completed the escape. Just not County's day. Not Chris Boyd's either, making his first start since returning to his old club. This was about the best the SPL's all-time top scorer could muster on the threadbare Dingwall turf. But Kilmarnock were in front, and they almost sealed the win through Killian Sheridan, but his clever lob wasn't quite clever enough. For all the pressure and chances, Ross County deserved the goal. Morrow and Gary Glenn combining to set up Stefan Volfart, and Cammy Bell produced a stunning save. That wasn't quite the end of it, though. When Michael Kovacevic played the ball into the box, it arrived for Evangelos Economou, but he shanked it wide. Three points for Kilmarnock. They have a real chance now of a top six finish. We've uh, slapped.